Hello guys. In this video, I will provide a comprehensive guide on how to effectively use Respond.io, an advanced messaging platform designed to help businesses manage customer conversations seamlessly across various messaging applications. Make sure to watch until the end and follow along step by step to ensure you don't miss anything important. I have included a link to Respond.io in the description so you can sign up for free and follow along. Let's get started. Respond.io is a powerful tool that centralizes communication from multiple channels, including popular apps like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Telegram, and SMS. By consolidating these communications, businesses can streamline their interactions with customers, making it easier to manage inquiries, support requests, and marketing campaigns all in one place. This is especially valuable for organizations that handle a large volume of messages as Respond.io enables efficient scaling of customer interactions. The platform is particularly beneficial for customer support teams, marketing departments, and sales processes, allowing for enhanced communication and a more organized approach to managing conversations. One of the standout features of Respond.io is its automation capabilities, which improve response times and allow for personalized communication with customers. Now that you have an understanding of what Respond.io is and how it can benefit your business, let's dive into the account creation process. To begin, navigate to the Respond.io website using the link in the description and click on Try Respond.io. You will have the option to fill in your details manually or continue using your Google account. For this tutorial, I will choose to continue with Google to simplify the process. After signing in, you will be prompted to set a password. Once that is complete, it's time to set up your organization. You will need to enter your organization's name, website, phone number, industry, and your role within the company. I'll fill this information out off-screen to speed things up. Once you have completed this setup, you will be directed to the main dashboard of Respond.io. Here, you may encounter a pop-up video that introduces the basic functionalities of the platform. While it can be helpful for new users, feel free to skip it if you're eager to jump right in. Now, let's explore the features that Respond.io offers on the dashboard. The dashboard provides a clear overview of how the platform works and highlights the initial steps for getting started. One useful feature you might want to try is sending yourself a test message. This allows you to understand how customers will reach out to you through different channels. To illustrate, let's pretend you are a customer. You can type hi into the messaging interface and send it to yourself. This way, you can see how messages appear in the system. Additionally, if you want to stay connected while on the move, you can download the Respond.io mobile app, which allows you to manage your messaging seamlessly from your smartphone or tablet. Next, let's connect your messaging channels and invite your team members to collaborate effectively. In the platform, you can select channels such as Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp Business and Instagram. Once you've made your selections, proceed to connect your accounts. This integration will allow you to receive messages from these channels directly in Respond.io. After connecting your channels, it's time to invite your team members. You can add them by entering their email addresses and assigning appropriate access levels, such as owner, manager, or agent. This way, everyone in your team can contribute to customer interactions effectively. Now, let's discuss one of the most powerful features of Respond.io automation through workflows. The platform allows you to set up automated responses to common inquiries. You can create these workflows directly in the dashboard and utilize pre-built templates for functions like welcome messages or simple chat menus. For example, if you want to set up a welcome message, you can select a template, define the trigger conditions, and save it for future use. Moving deeper into the dashboard, you will see several important sections. Here, you can access information about your contacts, team members, conversations, merge suggestions, and upcoming broadcasts. This organized layout makes it easy to keep track of your interactions and tasks. Let's take a closer look at the inbox section. 
This is where you will see all messages from your connected channels. Once everything is set up, all incoming messages will be displayed here, allowing you to respond promptly. You will also notice a team inbox and a custom inbox for unassigned messages. This helps ensure that no message gets overlooked. The filtering options are particularly useful, enabling you to search for specific messages based on various criteria. Next, we'll explore the contacts section. Here, you can add new contacts by entering their names, phone numbers, and email addresses. If you have a large list of contacts, you can easily import them by uploading a CSV file. This feature is a significant time saver and helps you manage your customer information efficiently. Now, let's turn our attention to the broadcasts section. In this area, you can create new broadcasts, draft them, or schedule them for future sending. You can also track the status of your broadcasts to see if they are in progress, completed, or if any have failed. This functionality is particularly useful for marketing campaigns or announcements to your customer base. Let's talk more about workflows. With this feature, you can set up automated messages that will trigger based on specific keywords or phrases. For instance, if a customer types, I need help, you can create an automatic response to provide immediate assistance. This not only enhances customer experience, but also helps your team manage their workload more effectively. Next, we have the reports section. This area provides visual insights into your messaging performance. You can view graphs and charts that display key metrics such as response rates, resolutions, and message volumes. This data can be invaluable in assessing how well your team is performing and identifying areas for improvement. Now, let's navigate to the settings section. Here, you have the option to edit your profile information and adjust your notification settings. The workspace settings allow you to manage team members, messaging channels, contact fields, and integrations. The Respond AI feature assists in streamlining your workflows, providing suggestions to enhance efficiency. You will also find options for managing closing notes, snippets, tags, and files. The platform enables you to export or import data as needed and edit your organization settings to ensure everything is up to date. The security settings allow you to manage user access, ensuring that your information remains protected. After creating your account, it's essential to complete the onboarding checklist. This checklist will guide you through the platform's functionalities and help you become more familiar with how to maximize its potential. You can access the Notification Center to keep track of important updates, and the Help Center offers additional resources for any questions or challenges you may face. In summary, we have covered the main features of Respond.io and how to get started with the platform. To make the most of your experience, take the time to familiarize yourself with the workflow tools and utilize the features available in the dashboard. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more insightful tutorials and make sure to sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.